Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. There are one inlet and two outlets for the solid particles and pure air in cyclones. The air containing particles enters the cyclone from the inlet of the cyclone and moves into the space between the inner cylinder and the outer cylindrical body in a spiral and vortex manner, such that the solid particles suspended. Due to the centrifugal force and behavior and heavier weight, uh, particles separate from the gas stream and move downward due to gravitational force. In this way, the solid particles in the air separate from the airflow. The gaseous flow also flows upward and reaches the upper part of the chamber after reaching the conical region. Gambit software was used to produce the present so geometry. The cyclone structure consists of a cylindrical part and a partially conical part. The design cyclone structure consists of a cylindrical part and an incomplete conical section such that a smaller cylinder also fits into the inner part of the outer cylinder body. Above the geometry, a trapezoidal cross section is designed as the inlet of air impregnated with dust and a circular cross section as the outlet of pure air. And at the bottom of the geometry, a circular cross section is designed as a place for dust particles to accumulate. Gambit software is again used to produce the mesh for the present geometry. The mesh type of this geometry is unstructured and total number of elements is equal to 140,499. In order to add a new material to the Fluent software, you just have to right click on a on the material tab and then click on new. After clicking on new, a new window will appear. After clicking on edit for the ash wall, uh, you can see that the wall motion defined for its boundary is set to be a stationary wall and no slip shear condition is also defined. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now, in order to see the different contours uh, for this project, you just have to right click on contours and then select the new. After selecting this button, the new window will appear. In the appear window, under the contours of section, you can select between different variables. After selecting a variable, for example, pressure in this section, uh, you just have to select the surface or boundary or place you want to see your co uh, contour. For example, we want to see the pressure on the walls uh, of the cyclone. Then we select the wall surface and after that by clicking on save or display button you can see your contour. Now in this particle path line contour you can easily see that uh, the particles have entered to the computational domain from the inlet boundary. Uh, some of them uh, have, have continued their way to the low outlet and some of them have continued their way to the upper outlet of the geometry. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at